Assalamu alaikum Pakistan this is Stingray from Pakistan Strategic Forum today we are going to compare the indigenous cruise missile program of Pakistan and India named as Babar and Nirbe before going into the topic i would like to request you all to please subscribe our youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon cruise missiles are guided missiles that use an engine other than that of the solid fuel or liquid fuel rocket motor such as turbofan or turbojet engine or even ramjet engines in some cases they remain in the atmosphere and flies the major portion of their flight path at approximately constant speed cruise missiles are designed to deliver a large warhead over a long distance with high precision modern cruise missiles are capable of traveling at supersonic or high subsonic speeds are self navigating and are able to fly on a non ballistic extremely low altitude trajectory utilizing the terrain masking effect through terrain hugging or sea skimming to avoid the radars modern cruise missiles also incorporate stealth in them which ensures their delivery of warhead to the land or the sea target the pakistan and india have developed their own cruise missile indigenously we will compare them one on one and in the end we'll also talk about the results of their test fires and their operational status it is reported that when america attacked afghanistan after 9/11 the tomahawk cruise missiles were fired from arabian sea on land targets in afghanistan and pakistan is blamed to reverse engineer those missiles to develop the babar cruise missile however the pakistan's nuclear scientists and the influencer in this program dr samir baikman denies the claim it to be the reverse engineered tomahawk the babar's airframe is made up of tubular fuselage with a pair of folded wings attached to the middle section and empennage at the rear along with the propulsion system propelled by a jet engine it can be launched from ground based mobile transport reactor launcher or tel on launch a boost without being detected while nirbe is powered by a solid rocket booster for takeoff which is developed by the advanced systems laboratory or asl upon reaching the required velocity and the height a turbofan engine in the missile take off for the further propulsion the missile is claimed to have sea skimming and loitering capability that is it can go around a target and perform several maneuvers and then reengage it it is able to pick out a target and attack it among the multiple targets with two folded wings the missile capable at different altitudes ranging from 100 meters to 4 kilometers it can also fly at low altitudes to avoid detection by the enemy radar coming towards their first appearances on august 12 2005 Pakistan publicly announced that it has successfully test fired a nuclear capable cruise missile while Nirbe the first test flight was planned in October 2012 however the missile was test fired for the first time on 12th of March 2013 from the integrated test range at Chandipur in Odisha now let's talk about the general characteristics of the both missiles talking about babar it has a length of 6.2 meters diameter of 0.52 meters a mass of 1500 kg and engine is a turbofan engine it is propelled by solid fuel for initial boost and liquid fuel for the rest of the flight the warhead it can carry ranges from 450 to 500 kg which can be conventional as well as a nuclear warhead it is guided by the inertial navigation system the terrain control masking system DSMAC, GPS, the Russian GLONASS, and the European GLELIO. Other than that, it can also be guided by the Chinese Beidou. Talking about the range, Babar has different versions. For Babar 1, the range is 700 km. For Babar 2, the range is 750 km. While for the submarine launch version, the Babar 3 has a range of 450 km. Babar 1B and Babar 2 were improved versions of the initial missile with upgraded avionics and on-board guidance systems. The ranges are further expected to be improved in the near future. Talking about Nir Bay, it has a length of 6 meters, a diameter of 0.52 meters, and a mass of 1500 kilograms. 
All of these are equivalent to the Barber cruise missile. As far as engine is concerned, Nirbay faces few problems. For the first stage, it uses solid rocket booster, while for the second stage, the engine is still under development. One of the successful tests was performed with a turbojet engine, with limited range while all other tests were performed by turbofan engine. A new Manic engine is still under development. It can carry 200 to 300 kg of conventional as well as a nuclear warhead, which is nearly half of what Barber cruise missiles can carry. It has a maximum speed of 0.6 to 0.7 Mach, which is also low than the Barber cruise missile. Talking about its guidance system, it has mid-course guidance with ring laser gyro, inertial navigation systems and the MEMS gyroscope which is micro electromechanical sensors. It is also augmented by GPS and the Indian indigenous navig satellite guidance system. In the terminal phase, it has an active radar homing guidance system. Talking about its range, it can reach up to maximum of 1000 km which is a few hundred kilometers more than that of Babur. It is the only domain in which Nirbay carries an edge than Babur. Coming towards their operational status, Babur 1 and Babur 2 are operational under Army Strategic Command Forces while the naval version was tested a couple of times and it is believed to be operational with Augusta 90Bs after their upgradation. Multiple variants of missiles have been tested while Nirbay has also been tested seven times and only thrice it has been successful. One of them was with the turbojet engine with limited range. The latest test was aborted after eight minutes of initial flight and the missile was destroyed in the air. The problems are with the engine for which a new Manic engine is still under development which is a turbofan one, while other problems are with the navigation system which DRDO in collaboration with other companies is trying to eliminate. There are also news that the missile program will be scrapped and a new program will be initiated but the recent test although which was failed and its premature deployment in Ladakh seem it to be very likely to continue. Concluding it, Babur is a time to time tested platforms. Other than that, it has three different land based variants while Bawa 3 is a sea-based platform ensuring the second strike capability of Pakistan through submarines. Other than that, the Harba, anti-ship and land attack cruise missile is also seen to be derived from Babur cruise missile. On the other hand, Nirbay is still an underdevelopment platform. Its issues are still getting resolved and the sea-based platform are also on the paper to be developed, but only time can tell its future status. That's all in this video. If you like the content, do like and subscribe. Also visit our other social media platforms. Their links are provided in the description below. This is Stingray signing off. Pakistan, Zindabad.